Hello! I made it! How's everyone doing today? It has been wild. Everybody is going for pearls. I've been busy uh, dealing with Raku glass. Raku glass. Oh my gosh, it was really, really heavy weighted. Uh, and I've been unpacking, I've been pricing, I've been playing with you guys. And uh, the afternoon just got away from us and it is worse than usual. I'm late for my late. Uh, so my apologies, but we have made it and we are here. And is everyone having a great afternoon? I know I've been giving away a lot of Jonah cones. <laughs> <laughs> so from you guys uh, picking up and you know these kind of match a little bit of like the raku that we've been uh, messing around with and um, and so here we are for Tuesday let me say a few hellos. If you guys are new to the show, welcome to Be With Me. I'm Kay, your host from Stars Beads. Uh, this is a place for your inspiration, motivation, and whatever's happening here at Stars. And if you are new, please say hello. This show is made for you. So I would love for you to be interactive. Ask me questions. Um, let me know what you guys like seeing and um, hearing about um, because you guys inspire me. So, um, so hello to everybody. We have, uh, hey, Bala, looks like you made it back home. Hi, Pam, getting all your goodies together. And Alicia, I've got your little uh, snack bag. And I found those earring hooks. That was the bag that I actually had for you. So those are the things that we were missing. And hey, Miss Bosma, I got those uh, pearls for you. And it looks like the official announcement, you guys, for Friday Night Live, it looks like Raku was the winning, um, was the winning choice, okay? Beautiful both ways. We're gonna get to see it all, you know? It's just, figure it's easier to concentrate on a little bit of everything, otherwise it gets crazy. So, um, so Raku is gonna be our highlight for this week. And um, in fact, I'm gonna put a link in there for, uh, for an interview we had done with Miss Amy, I think last August. However, um, I've also got her set up for this week to uh, come on and chat with us. So it looks like we're gonna do it uh, tomorrow on our Bead With Me, and we're gonna pull her into Facebook and uh, have her tell us a little bit about her Raku, okay? But today, I thought maybe we'd go take a look at it. Um, I've pulled a few things and, um, and open the box up a little bit more so you guys can get a uh, quick little peek. I have saved uh, some things for, for some of you guys already. So I know we had shown off a few of the love, but here we've got beads, we've got beads, we've got pendants. So she's got a lot of her, her newest designs out for us so that you guys will get in on the, uh, on the newest. And then I thought, Maybe we, we could play with one. This is always a, a tried and two classic. I always love that teardrop, teardrop look. Who's with me on Raku? So many of you guys liked Raku. And, um, and this is another fun, it's going to be another fun sample sale. And I thought uh, I'd pull out some of these bales because, you know, pendants are always... Uh, you know, it's kind of like a focal piece, you know, trying to mess around. And so I thought, oh, here's another love one. That's a another cute one. You have that uh, teardrop, Pam. Maybe we can mess around with it. I think putting a pearl drop on it would be really pretty. Um, the donuts are always good. So I thought I'd just mess around. Um, you know, one of the things we have for donuts, actually. Let me go see if I have one up front but I thought we could maybe make something quick or talk about, um, talk about different bales. So Mom? we have done one. Yes, dear. I found the right match. Oh, you got like a puzzle going on there. Let's see, I'm looking for a bale. Do you know where those are, honey? Let's see. Okay, so I've got a bale tray here and this is this is a cool one maybe maybe i'll take this to the back and we can take a look at it but you know there's so many different ways to end pendants and getting them all attached and that's always the hard thing to figure out right and so um this is one way i thought i'd show you let me see if i can i'm gonna sit down over here into my station here and uh show you but 
you know, you have a donut here. These are really pretty. Hello, Miss Patty, glad you could make it. Hey, Michelle, how's it been going down there in Barbados? Julie, these are pretty. So this is something called, so this is made by Stars Clasps, okay? We carry some of these in silver and brass, but this is just one way to deal with this kind of donut shape is this is an interchangeable bale, okay? So this style is you're gonna open it up, you're gonna stick this in here, and I think that we have found that this style fits in. Okay, and then you're gonna close this up, snap that in, and dun dun dun, dun. We've got ourselves, uh, you know, a way to hook on whatever it is that you want to. So this is where you would put on, you know, whatever. I'm just grabbing whatever I have right here. But um, this idea of putting a chain, right? Simple and easy. All right, and then another way is let's see so then i've got some of these other ones and then i'm just messing around Oop, dropping things all over the place here better than broken dishes different ones. Uh, I've got some really pretty silver ones, so that's what I was messing around. Probably uh, copper is a little bit, you know, easier. There's also this type of bale as well. Um, but Stars Class has made this interchangeable style. This is kind of some of the more traditional, so you might see a bale that looks like this. Okay, and you can open this up. So sometimes when you see these pictures online and you're like, I don't even know what how that even works. Okay, so this one slides right there in the center. Okay, and then you're gonna squeeze this here tight. Okay, and then lining those up. Okay, so that when you do up your design, it'll, it'll kind of look like this. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Okay, so this is kind of a donut bale. This is an interchangeable donut bale. Okay, but now we have maybe sometimes pendants like this, okay, and that, you know, one of the questions I always get asked is, you know, like, how, how do I make that into a pendant, right? So these are a couple ways to work with the donut style, okay? Um, I'm also, in terms of the donut, actually, while we're still on that before we get off of the donut, is that I have done, let me grab some chain here, uh, here, not exactly the right color. But, you know, sometimes you don't find, like, maybe this is too big, too small, what, whatever the reason is. I've also taken chain, okay, and then I've also put it through here, okay, I certainly could do something a little bit more matching, obviously, okay, but then I've taken a jump ring, and then I've attached it to here, okay, so those are different ways also to make the attachment. Okay, of course you could take cording and stuff, but I've, sometimes I've done chain to, do, to create a bale. Okay, but then sometimes we have things like this, and then there's another thing called a pinch bale. Okay, and here's here's one that we carry, um, kind of plain. And what it means is, as a pinch bale, can we see that? Is that it's a bale, but you see those little clips right here? Okay, they pinch on. Okay, so I really like pinchables. They make things a little bit easier. Um, so you. So you don't have to do some fancy wire wrap, okay? So literally, you're gonna just take those tees and you're gonna open it up far enough. And yeah, leather is definitely good with donuts. Okay, but here, here's a quick and easy, and then we have a bale that's already attached to that. Okay, so that, that's a good attachment. Okay, I have some way fancier silver ones, uh, a lot of, um, Obviously, a lot of this Raku is all a little bit more, um, a little bit more copper, which I guess uh, I might have, I usually carry a lot of uh, gold and uh, silver, but you know, this is another style pinchable bale. You can see this is another style of her pendants here, and you can just squeeze, squeeze these shut, okay? You know, kind of speaking about those, uh, oh, and here's another one from uh, Stars, Stars Clasps it is one. This one is actually done in sterling. There's not a 
you know, a lot of cool ones done in, in that sterling, but this one will open up here and then you can kind of see how that will look when it's on and then you can slide whatever it is right through here. Okay, so if you like any of these particular designs, uh, uh, right here you can go on to www.starsclass.com that is kind of a sister site for stars beads so that you can see what we do carry <laughs> online without having to shop live like this with us okay all right so those are quick and easies yeah leather, leather is also an easy way and then you can just do a little little barrel knot but i thought you know sometimes um people don't want the corded look maybe then you want to add you know um the chain of pearls like we've done um you know on the top side so you can certainly uh certainly start adding so let's see Easy uh, tips and techniques on using bales here. So looking and we got some small pinch bales here. Yeah, so th this one can fit a tiny kumi too in this particular type of bale here. And this one fits a, a, fits a bigger one. Um, but yeah, it's always getting this attachment or you can simply put a nice big ring on there. Okay, and those, um, those jump locks look pretty good on there if you just want a simple ring. And then, of course, you can play around with some of her, her beads as well. So, <clears throat> see, it lo also looks good on pearls. So, ma so many choices. Hmm, what do I, what should I make today? Should I make a little something? Because I, I always love her beads. You know, so taking her, and I actually always love these uh, square ones. So maybe we'll do uh, a little something. She has so many c cool new pendants. I don't know, I really like these. She calls these uh, the squared L. And you know what? We were messing around with that glass yesterday, you guys. We were playing around with those Emonites. looking for one that I think matched this if I'm not mistaken so let's see here what do you guys think of this okay I'm gonna pull some of these over because this might be a little combination okay because I like these beads oh but this is a great combo what do we think about that That's a really pretty combo. But I was looking in here, and remember yesterday, we were also messing around with these beautiful, oh, is Vivian on here with me today? This was a red one. So these ones were in her other stash. So just to change it up a little. What do we think? Do we like something like that? Maybe we can make this an all, all week project. We can do something a little bit more elaborate on this one. Kind of shake it up and and mess around. Let's see. I'm trying to see if there's another pendant. This is a bigger one. This is that uh, red one that we were looking at yesterday. Maybe a little bit lighter. Would be really pretty. Now it's the play time. I don't think we can really go wrong, right? That's how I'm feeling. I mean, the colors on those are pretty extraordinary. That just kind of looks like it goes though, doesn't it? Kind of thinking this big old red one. 
because I know we were going all light, but how about we kind of do a dark and earthy one, huh? And then we could do some uh, dark chain even. And um, let's go over and look at some of this fun copper. Co look at that. Do we like that combination? Because you know I like this chain that we've just gotten in. Could put that along the bottom. I'm liking that combination. I'm, I might have to do that. I hate to use up all that awesome chain though. I'm thinking though that, that looks really good. Let's see. Or I could use the skinny. I've got that too. I've got this. Here's here's like like a paper clip chain. Here's all this all this copper, you guys. Who likes copper? We do like this with copper, right? All right, let's see. This is kind of a good chain because it kind of has the like lines of the ammonite. What do you guys think of that? Yeah, babe. What should I do? What would you like to do, sweetie? Uh, I'm doing my uh, bead with me right now with everyone. We're trying to decide. Do you? I like checking out people. You like checking out people. Jonah's been uh, learning the register here today, so he's been checking out people. It is fun. Yeah, it is fun. All right, I can't decide. Texture, texture, small or big? Do you want to buy something from your shop? Why don't you add up your stash? I didn't see your total because you remember you added up 200, so you want to try yours again and add yours up? No, it's actually two. I know, but on the receipt it showed 200, so then it would have added wrong. So you want to add yours up again? <laughs> All right, maybe paper clip. I don't know. I'm going with my, I think I like my first choice. So Jonah was learning the whole shopping method, you guys. Oh, I also have these potato chip beads too. I really like those potato chips. Maybe I'm going to use a few of those in there. I have some potato chips that are loose right here. So maybe we can use some of this, the copper beads that are in here. Are you okay, so you think small there, huh, Marjorie? Both are textured, but I'm thinking if this is in the front, this will be in the back. And then maybe some of these as some separators. We're making this coppery, but it actually could go brass. So if you're not a copper fan, this could probably go, it could go a little golden too. You can see it would go well with uh, some of the brassy tones. All right, I think we've got some pieces that maybe we can mess around with you guys. <laughs> Cause that's what that's what part of the fun is around here is what what are we gonna make today it's a good question so we'll get some of these out of the way so all right so someone can claim this one if you like so this one is actually a $30 one so there there's gonna be some different price ranges on those Emmonites you guys, um, even though this week we're gonna be doing Raku. So let me move these uh, bales out of the way here since I've just clogged my station here. So now let's put only in the station what we want. All right, so I think we're gonna do here. Yeah, I like some potatoes. We're, I'm gonna look at some potato chips. I think this is what we're messing around with, you guys. Does that look fun? Looks like a fun to work with so a little bit of a playing around that's a part of the fun so you guys can kind of see what it's gonna end up looking like without having to get it first all right because yesterday we were holding out the tassel along the bottom and that looked really pretty too 
but I'm kind of I'm trying to go outside my round because I'm an all silver person okay I really like silver so anytime you're gonna ask me I'm probably gonna say silver so I'm trying to work outside the uh, box here and this might be something we might change out the bottom okay today I think maybe we'll just do the base and then maybe we can think about maybe creating a tassel what do you guys uh, think about that So I'm going to get some wire, we're going to get some string out, and probably try to keep this uh, simple because, you know, the, the components are really what all the interesting part is. So it looks like we have two, four, six, eight, we have ten beads here. So we're going to do like a half and half on that, and let's, let's play around a little bit and see what comes out. Looks like I don't have... Got moved from unpacking. I always like uh, things that are not round a lot of times. Okay, so you can see how the, those break up. Yeah, you guys think of a tassel of some kind. You totally do spy some Jonah roll-ups, Wanda. You'll be getting probably a Jonah cone in your stash when I when I finally get yours all boxed up. It's coming soon. Oh, see, you could almost put a Jonah cone on the bottom. Actually, the colors kind of match there, doesn't it? Isn't that kind of funny? <laughs> all right, we're just messing around here. So I'm gonna kind of put these on a string because I was thinking about maybe putting some of these uh, copper pieces in the in-between. So my goal was to put this along the bottom, put these along the top in some sort of order, and then put some chain around the edge and probably make it long enough. I'll probably end up using all of this. I love tassels too. Maybe we'll have to make one like this, but like in the right colors, huh? Or maybe uh, I, you know what? I think I might have a good fabric one, um, but I don't have it right now. Now that is it. Now that is it. Okay, and then we got to press M, the one with the diamond, and it'll give it, and then it'll total all of that. It's still in the machine, so go press M total, and it'll it'll tell us how much you spent. So Jonah is. <laughs> He has money that apparently is burning a hole in his pocket, and so he, you know where he decided to take his money? Okay, he, he decided to bring it here to Star's Beads. <laughs> okay, so we know we were kind of do five and five, okay? And we know we're going to do this. I'm going to do a little stringing, but the question is, what are we going to do with this baby? Hmm? So... I pressed so I got my tag. Oh, but on the twelve dollars, you gotta press the M diamond. The tax does it just on the twelve dollars. I'm gonna do that too. Yeah, you. Well, that's what you need to do first. Yeah, this is a lot of pretty coppery. Okay, so um, so this is where I'm probably gonna bring out some hard wire here, okay, and just see how it ends up looking. So I'm gonna just mess around with this middle part and see. I. These holes are rather big, so I kind of want to plug it up. Three receipts. So I think, like, uh, if I do that here. One for the M, and then another for the tax, and then another for the M. Okay, so Plus. here. See, there was an M, but see, the tax only did it on the $12 because you didn't do the total yet. So now you can okay. press tax. So you don't need that one. So you were at $26, and then you add, then you add the tax. Now go add the tax. All right, so that looks pretty good, top and bottom. So this may be a two-part project where, you know, it's a, it's a mess around day. Talking about different ways we can handle, um, you know, doing these centerpieces. Because the focals, you know, you buy these beautiful focals and then we're like, okay, they're still sitting in the box because I, I don't know what to do with them yet. But I think those cap it really nicely. Okay, I might even put, um, where were those? What happened to the rest of my copper tray? Oh. And then these are those cornerless cubes. 
Uh, so I'm thinking we might add a tassel to this. So, and then we'll think about the top part. So it's gonna go in between here. So I think that I'm going to, okay. To make this a little bit more decorative, this is another way that I'm gonna actually create my own. Mom, yeah. that chair broke. The, oh, the okay. screw? Yeah, I was just standing on it and so it tilted. Okay, that's okay. So look, you guys, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take no, this chain link. Fell off. Well, okay, well, be careful, and then I'll come take a look at it, okay? Or we'll drag a different chair. But this is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take two links of this chain. Okay. And I'm going to wire wrap this to there. All right, and this loop needs to be big enough so that it goes over here and still is flexible, okay? Because this is, I'm choosing this to actually be my bail this round. Since I'm using this uh, copper chain, I'm gonna use this as my bail as well as an accent. So we're gonna see what this looks like here in just a second as we have fun playing around today. You okay? <laughs> I hear that chair that's apparently broken. I got my now. All right, so how much did you spend today? Total. What's that total say? Okay. 27.6.T percent, then 1.65T. It does match my nails. I think my and nails have been matching all the things we've been and doing. Then 29.21 plus T. Now that's quite the receipt. What? That's quite a receipt. How much is it? $29 and $29. You don't have to read the plus T. That was the plus tax. So $29.21. You did great. Okay, we're gonna now slip everything back on. So this is technically the top. You can decide if you want something on there. I'm kind of making sure that uh, tail is uh, tucked in there. Okay, but that's my top. I don't know if I'm gonna put a bead on there yet, but let's take a look. We're gonna do this and decide which way should be the top and the bottom. I'm gonna decide this way right now. And then I had this right here. Okay, so let's take a look at what we just did here. All right, so I wanted a little ring on there to add instead of a bead. And then this is what's gonna string on to the base. I'm gonna leave this side open because I'm kind of thinking I don't know uh, if we're gonna add a tassel. So I'm just gonna leave this bent for the time being. Pretty sure we're gonna loop it, so I'm gonna almost make it into a link right here. Okay, might leave it that way in case we change our mind because you never know and look she has a shell on the back side of this one isn't that pretty all right so now we have our pendant kind of prepped right and now let's play around with these uh, beads as our base okay so we know we kind of have to do five you're totally right they match my nails perfectly obviously you know why i like these beads all right and i'm gonna um since we have those, these little, I call these potato chip beads, okay? And they do curve one way or other, so I'm kind of seeing what I like and I think I'm gonna have them so that they're curled like this so that they give that spacing, okay? If you have them both um, facing the same way, that's exactly what's gonna happen. And so you can decide whether they curve into the bead or out of the bead. And I think I'm having them curve on top of the bead. So you guys, I'm super excited so uh, on doing this Raku, because one, I love Raku. And number two, you guys, we are going to be looking at getting to talk to the artist herself, okay? So we're, we'll be having Amy on tomorrow. So we, we look like we were gonna, try to have an on-time um, 
airing tomorrow. So try to get with us at at two o'clock tomorrow, okay? Is when we're gonna be trying. What do we think about that? Huh? That's another good term for them, Pringles. And you know what? You can't stop at just one. All right, so now I can string this on. Okay, I'm gonna just kinda see how that ends up looking. Okay, so I dropped it, I put that there because I wanted it to drop down maybe far enough, but it may not be far enough. Amy is wonderful. She's very, very cool and known each other a long time. I think that'll hang down far enough. All right, we're gonna leave it and we're gonna just see how it flies. But you know, I think I'm gonna still do a Pringle on each side. So we'll do this here. So if you guys haven't heard of these potato chips, these are the, just a, a cool spacer, kind of changes it up from the daisy spacer, if you guys kind of get over using a daisy spacer. Oh goodness, I hope Hi, I have mommy. enough of these. Hey baby. What? It's a pumpkin bear. Oh, are those your two shopping bags? Yeah, this, I think this one was from yesterday. Uh-huh. This one is from today. Oh, you guys want to see uh, Jonah's pics of his uh, buys from today? We can do this uh, up but and then we can I see. I will not be selling them. Uh, okay, you heard it though. He just bought them, so he's not looking to sell these guys, okay? You guys, I literally have exactly enough Pringles. So, I think that this design was meant to be. I think it totally was meant to be. There's only one left. Only one left of those? Oh, man. I'm, I'm really going to show this. You, you're going to definitely show that? Okay. Let me show you. Oh, you want to show them right now? Okay. Can you hold on one second? Let me put this last little beady on, and then we can show. I need one minute to take it out. Okay. To take it out for them? Okay. All right, you guys. Here's how it's, how it's coming along. Looking at potato chips here, and then we're gonna stick on this chain. All right, we're taking a quick. Uh, we're gonna take a quick Jonah break. He has been shopping here at Stars Beads. He's a good supporter of uh, local here, and he'd like to show you a uh, Jonah pick of what he chose here for today. Okay, you wanna show it in your hand? Okay. No, no I wanna see what the what they're saying. Oh, okay. Keeping okay. He he wants he wants to be able to show you and see it. Oh, he, this this was the last one, and you know it's in the colors he loves. So this is yes, this is the Jonah Hall from Stars Beads. Look, they're they're giving you thumbs up. They like your choice. You gonna show them anything else? Oh, I'm gonna jump out. So you can see here. Here, let me see if I can <laughs> flip this around. Okay, so this is his bag. He's He's been shopping. And you guys, he went around and he put them in bags so that it got him trained I bought, right. I bought that. Oh, and he chose that. You show them, I'll give them. Okay, and see, and then he wrote, like, here, how here. much they were on the, on the on the bag. Okay, this one was a nice uh, Asian coin replica. That was 50 cents. Oh, they like that choice. They think that's a good choice. Oh, and those, oh, like those. We used those the other day on one of our bead with me. That's a good choice, too. Oh, I really like these. You want to show them that? This is another great pick. So these are those uh, other things I don't show you here at Stars Beads for those that are not local. I'm not giving this one, that blue one, because it looks like it got really smooth and hand cut. That's a great observation, Jonah. Okay. All right. That. Yeah. Oh no, that's not it. No. I think we should show that. That was that. So that was Jonah's haul today. Hold on, that that's not it. Okay. Look, it's still. Okay. Still well, we'll put it away later, and then how about we show him what else? Okay. No, Cause, hold on. Because we're gonna finish our project today too. All right. So this was Jonah's haul yesterday. So you guys can see the colors he likes. So I didn't put the what how much it was, but I got that. Got that. He got so some I nice got wood that. pieces. 
And I don't know about you guys, but when I was young, I I collected a bunch of beads myself from all my uh, travels with my mom. And I would say that I have that box around somewhere. And I love seeing I love seeing the choices I had made. They're not from the same place, but no. Nope. Okay. Same thing. Oh, those are so pretty. So if you like any of Jonah's picks, you can uh, you can ask for more. They're 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 excited. They can't wait to see what you make because they were so impressed with you last last week on your. So this is the Jonah haul from Stars Beads, you guys. Oh, 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 I one thing. I oh, and he has one more. His favorite, nothing live four millimeter fire polish check glass. Can never go wrong with that. <laughs> All right, you guys, there was a quick little Jonah break. Here we are making a, a, a fun piece here today. Look, funky chunky. All right, and I'm gonna see how much chain I have here. I might not leave you guys any. <laughs> might have to, uh... so we know in something that is gonna go right over the head, we want it to be probably about two and a half feet. So let's measure what I've got here because that pendant is also going to hang down and then we want a tassel on there. You know, we don't need this thing hanging on the crotch, right? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. My bag was on his stuff here. All right, so I'm going to, so if you want that to hang about the two, this is two right here. So I'm going to go two and a half. Two and a half. See, that lays only a half. Maybe I'll just use the whole thing so that I don't cut any. I'm just going to use the whole thing for for this purpose because then it'll fit one of you guys. Okay? So I'm going to flip this baby around and let's do the attachment on this. Okay? And then I, I will see about maybe adding a tassel here tomorrow since I don't have what. Whoop! Look at that. I started rolling up that. Uh, that wire here. <laughs> you ever have that happen? So, bead stopper, you guys. That That is the reason you would want a bead stopper. If you guys have no idea, since I know that's new for some of you guys, this is a bead stopper. And what that does is if you push that open and squeeze it, it will stop your beads from falling off. I, I highly stopper. recommend it. I got a bead stopper. You, yeah, Donut knows all about a bead stopper, too. All right, let me throw these you? beads. I just showed them one. Oh, I'll show them mine. You want to show them yours? Okay, stick it is, in the screen. Is yours small? You have a mini? I got this no, one. What no. do you have? This. And there's jo and there's Jonas. That's the one he was using on his project. Okay, so I'm you guys kind of see how those ones I'm end up sitting the same way. So you gotta you gotta go paying attention to what you're doing here. Okay. And it's a very very slight difference, but. I like it to be organic and irregular, just as these beads are, okay? Because these fire guards made this particular set extraordinarily gorgeous. All right, so um, I'm gonna put that bead stopper on this one side because now I've got both sides cut open. Uh, and we're going to find some, I guess I need to find some copper crumbs. All right, and another little trick is, you know what? I don't have a copper crimp right here. So you know what is I'm going to just use a copper crimp cover. But for now, since I can, I have this right here, we're gonna take our crimping tool out, you guys, and crimp this baby up. And the beauty of crimp covers is that it's gonna hide, hide the crimp. All right, so we're gonna go to the end of our chain here. And, you know, and flex wire technically comes in copper, so I could have done this in. If you want to get all matchy, you can totally do that. In fact, we might be getting on with soft flex here in the next couple weeks, too. So I'm doing a project with their things because I use it pretty much every day. All right, so there's a crimp. We're going to slide this over here. Okay. So Slide all the beads to the other side. Okay. And we're gonna take that bead stopper off. Where is another crimp? 
Oh, there it goes. Those crimps are so itty bitty here. Okay, string that. We're gonna literally used every potato chip I had in there. Okay, so we'll go right to the other side of the uh, chain here. Now you could have certainly done this as a shorter, shorter necklace, but I didn't. I like this. I like it big and long, especially if you're going to add a tassel on to it. And then you can do a, um, a shorter layered necklace. Okay, so I'm putting the tail back through some of the beads. You don't have to put it all the way back through, but you can if you want to. Okay, so now we're on the other end and we're gonna pull all the slack out. Okay, if you ever find that you run out, run into where you can't pull the slack out, but yet you know that they're in there, just pull your crimp out of place. Be, um, pull your crimp where you actually want it, which is closer to the beads, okay? And that way then it'll take the slack off of here and then when you pick it up, you can pull a little bit more. Okay, but you might have to do that a few times in order to get all that slack out. All right, there's there's this part here. We're gonna do one part crush, turn that at a quarter, 90 degree, and push again. And I always like to take a third crush and push it out one more time, okay? And, and really in terms of the tail, you guys can decide, you know, it means that if this crimp were to ever slide, that's how much room that crimp has to slide before you notice. So really, I mean, you're gonna notice if, you're, if your beads start sliding down a little bit um, pretty early on. So really you don't need that much, but it's, I would say, you know, an inch would be great. And now we're gonna pretend I never used silver here. So I'm going to grab some copper crimp cover, okay? And, oh, glad you got off work, Sherry Lynn. And you got, got us live. All right, that's looking pretty snazzy. Okay, so now we can see those little silver crimps. So I'm gonna take these crimp covers. Okay, that's these little guys that look like little Pac-Mans. All right, and we're gonna just cover that up and then I think I wanna add a tassel. So that's why I've left the bottom a little bit the way it is. Okay, we're gonna put this crimp cover and you can see that there's a little bit of uh, room but I want there to be a little bit of space so that there's some room for the bend of the necklace. Okay, so sometimes you will see a little bit. It's not the end of the world. Gravity will do its thing and everything will come to the front. Okay. So I'm gonna close that real easy and you see how that puckers sometimes? So when it puckers, you gotta leverage it so that you're pushing harder on one side and then pushing again on this other side, okay? All right, we got ourselves a crimp cover. Okay, hides that silver crimp I had. And then we'll do the same one on the other side and we'll have pretty much a, a necklace. And you could leave it like that. But I know I think I have a really pretty red tassel at home that I think is going to work beautifully with this. Because I too am a tassel lover. These crimp covers can be a little bugger sometimes. But, but they look so good. It's worth all the pain and agony, okay? All right, so we're gonna close that up real easy. Starting to use my things that I bought today. Oh, maybe tomorrow on Bead With Me you can show them what you did with your Jonah Hall. They would love that, I bet. Okay? This is gonna be nice. That's gonna be nice. All right, dun da 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 All right, you guys, let's see. see uh wanda yes i have used the magical uh crimping tool what the, for those that don't know what the magical crimping tool is 
is a um, it was a tool that was designed quite a few years ago and it would make your two by two crimps um, perfectly round and really tiny and they can work but it wasn't always consistent for me okay so all right dun dun dun, dun. here we oh, okay this is where I like to show the other view here so now that it's done up I'm going to hold it up so I'm not a big fan, Wanda, of the magical uh, crimping tool, to be honest. All right, you guys, that's what it's looking like. This is what we just designed today using some of the beautiful raku beads, beautiful potato chips, a fantastic te textured chain, and a gorgeous lampwork bead by Miss Donna Nova. Okay, so you see how we did the bail there, you guys, and how all that attachment, and then this is what it's looking like from afar. Okay, and then tomorrow, I'm going to look for that tassel. Fun, fun. Just like you guys. You guys are so much fun. And, it's, and I got the tough job. I got to play around with these beads and, uh, and keep on making. That's why I want you guys creating as well. So, fun day. And tomorrow... You know it's Work It Wednesday. So I'm going to be working it, and we're going to be bringing on Miss Amy uh, of Zaz Company so she can talk to us a little bit more about Raku. And you know I'm going to be wanting to know what's on your wrist, okay, because it's what's on your wrist Wednesday. So I will uh, get up a picture for you guys early, okay, so you guys can show me what you guys are wearing, okay, and then join me tomorrow. We're going to be having fun all week long. It looks like we're going to be... I guess I'll probably be playing with glass and Raku uh, since both boxes are open and we're playing with lots of fun things. And so um, it was hard decision. And they kind of go so nicely together because uh, Zaz makes some beautiful beads. So then you can use other style pendants if, you know, obviously you can see we chose to use glass and it was a beautiful combination. And that's how it happens sometimes is, you know, that's why Monday it was great because you sometimes you go into your stash and as you guys are collecting, you can go in there and say, oh, I totally had forgotten I got, uh, I got this one piece and it goes perfectly with this other piece. See, I couldn't have planned that better myself. It looks like I kind of planned it, but it's kind of spontaneous and that's kind of how uh, jewelry making is. All right, you guys, fun Tuesday. We're going to see you back on tomorrow and we're going to try to hit it at 2 p.m. tomorrow, okay? Because I got Amy coming on. Uh, she's gonna be um, a little bit earlier on her side. So she's a couple hour uh, difference off, but I am gonna load up maybe her uh, link from her last interview uh, so we can check it out and, um, and play some more. And speaking of Mr. Jonah, he, do you, you don't wanna show it? For to how about tomorrow? Because I'm signing off. Let's make a new one when I'm done. Okay. So another exciting moment. I'm I'm being told here that there's going to be a surprise Jonah piece uh, for display tomorrow. Okay. So joy. Well, I'm going to sign off, and then you'll show it tomorrow for a surprise. Okay. Do another. Oh, okay. Right so we're signing off right now. Jonah says he might sign on a little bit later so he can show you a little bit of a surprise, okay? If not, might be on tomorrow. So it might be all interview day tomorrow. All right. So thank you for joining us here at Stars Bees. Uh, put a like to this feed if you enjoy uh, sitting with us in the afternoon. That always helps us in this algorithm thing of this whole online world. That's all new to me. But uh, we appreciate you always coming out and coming to play and have yourself a fantastic day. We'll see you again tomorrow for a, another fun bead with me. Thank you guys. Have a great rest of the day.